Hey everyone, welcome back to Terry Mater Gardens. Today we're diving into the world of one of the most captivating and popular tortoise species out there, the red-footed tortoise. Whether you're a long-term reptile enthusiast or just beginning to explore the idea of owning a pet tortoise, you'll love learning more about these amazing creatures. We'll go over everything from their natural habitat to their behavior, diet, and how to care for them in captivity. Here's an interesting fact to kick things off. Red-footed tortoises are known for their cleverness. In a 2011 study, scientists found that these tortoises could navigate mazes and remember their location of food, showing advanced problem-solving abilities. It turns out that tortoises, especially the, web, especially the red-footed tortoise, aren't just slow movers, they're also quite sharp thinkers. As you might guess from their name, they are known for the distinct red, orange, and yellowish scales on their legs and head, giving them a splash of color that sets them apart from other tortoise species. The shells are usually dark brown or black with slightly lighter markings providing excellent camouflage in their natural environment. Red-footed tortoises are medium sized, typically growing to about 10 to 14 inches in length, though some individuals can reach up to 18 inches. Their strong dome-shaped shells offer them great protection from predators and harsh weather. In the wild, red-footed tortoises are native to the forests and savannas of South America. They are commonly found in countries like Venezuela, Brazil, and Bolivia. Their preferred habitat ranges from humid rainforest to drier forest edges and grasslands. These environments offer plenty of cover from predators and an abundant supply of food. However, like many species, habitat destruction has posed a challenge to their populations in the wild. Despite this, red-footed tortoises have adapted well to life in captivity, which is why they're such a popular pet choice. When it comes to behavior, red-footed tortoises are relatively social for tortoises and can often be seen interacting with each other in the wild. They are diurnal, meaning they are active during the day, usually foraging in food early in the morning or late afternoon when temperatures are cooler. Their diet is varied and omnivorous. In the wild, red-footed tortoises eat a mix of fruits, vegetables and leaves, flowers, and even the occasional insect. In captivity, their diet should include a balance of leafy greens like dandelions, collard greens, and kale, as well as fruits like papaya, mango, and berries. They can also benefit from occasional proteins such as cooked eggs or lean meat though it should be a small part of their diet. Always avoid offering them food high in oxalates or phosphorus, which can lead to health problems. If you're considering keeping a red-footed tortoise as a pet, proper housing is key. For a single adult tortoise, you'll need a spacious outdoor enclosure if possible, as these tortoises love to roam. The enclosure should measure at least eight by four feet and be well secured to prevent escapes. For indoor setups, a large tortoise table or a custom enclosure with proper heating and UV lighting will do the trick. Temperatures should be maintained between 75 and 85 degrees, with a basking spot reaching around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is also crucial for these tropical tortoises. Aim for 70 to 80 percent humidity. This can be achieved with regular misting in a substrate that holds moisture like cypress mulch or coconut core. When it comes to the companions, red-footed tortoises can be housed together as long as the space is large enough and they have plenty of hiding spots. Avoid overcrowding as it can lead to stress and aggressive behavior especially between males. Never house them with different species of tortoises as this can lead to health issues or territorial disputes. Red-footed tortoises make excellent pets, especially for beginners, due to their manageable size, calm nature, and relatively simple care requirements. And that's a wrap on today's introduction to the red-footed tortoise. Whether you're looking to adopt one of these fascinating creatures or just learning more about them, I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.